Radio Tree Live, and today is Wednesday, November 9th, 2016, and we are excited to have Quiet Oaks in the studio with us today. Whenever you guys are ready, you can jump into your first song. Awesome. Oaks. So we talked about how you guys are performing a lot of new songs on the road. You're currently on a two-week tour. And these songs are going to be released on your full-length album that uh, is coming like early next year? Yeah. Um, we should have it done ready for release by like February. Um, so we're shooting for that right now. And it's uh, we have an EP out, but it's our first like full-length album. So That's exciting. Nice. Congratulations. Thank you. And you're kind of doing it the opposite way. So, like, instead of releasing the album and then touring, which I'm sure you'll tour again, of course, but um, you're playing a bunch of songs on the road and kind of test them, testing them out for the audience instead. Yeah. 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 I mean, we're such a we're such a live band that we figure if people don't, people don't like it live, then it's not it's not working for us, you know. Yeah. So before we release a whole full album, 
we'd rather hit the road and make sure all these new tracks yeah. sound good and yeah. people are having fun. We're also a super new band, so we're just trying to build our name and kind of get out there before we release a full album. And a lot of our songs really like come to life more when we get together on stage. Like our songs are really born on stage. Like, yeah, I feel like sure. we're such a live band. That's really cool. You were talking about, well, that's like really nice because you can work out the kinks and kind of see what people like, what you like, you know, and kind of go back home to Salt Lake City, which is where you guys are from, and uh, see what sticks, you know, and then you can record from there. Yeah, for which sure. Is good. And it's like people in Salt Lake are too nice, you know. Yeah. They, they have such a good time and they have so much fun that it's hard to tell. It's like, well, is this really good material or are you guys just really nice and fun? Yeah. So it's, it's easier to tell that when you go on the road and play it for a lot of different people every night, you know. There's something, yeah, there's something to be said about playing in front of strangers who are, you know, their general reactions will tell you the truth. For so, sure. Yeah. No, that's really cool. Um, that's the way to do it, you know, like, especially since you're, you're a brand new band. So, yeah, get your name out there. We'd love to hear another song whenever you guys are ready. Awesome. Cool.
is Audio Tree Live, and we are here in the studio with Quiet Oaks today, all the way from Salt Lake City, Utah. Uh, these guys are currently on a two-week tour. They're at the very beginning of their tour, and tomorrow they play at Quenchers in Chicago. So, Chicagoans, you should definitely go out. Quenchers is awesome. So We're are these guys. We're Crosstown and American Grizzly, too. There and, it uh, is. Bearfish Paddlers are playing, too. It's going to be fun. Oh, hell yeah. Nice. That's a full show. That's awesome, you guys. Wild. Pretty wild. And you played Quenchers before, yeah? Yeah, last yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Through, yeah. Nice. It's a fun place. Well, check it out, you guys. Um, we'd love to hear another song whenever you guys are ready. We cool. can do that. Let's do it. We got a couple more. <laughs>
This is Audio Tree Live, and we're here with Quiet Oaks. You guys recently, all of you quit your full-time jobs to become full-time musicians, yeah? <laughs> yes, yes, we did nice. do that. <laughs> was there ever a moment of hesitancy there where you were like, oh, what am I doing? This is risky. Well, I mean, maybe a while ago, but all of us, I mean, right before we did that, we've only, we only did that like, for like four or five months ago or something. And all of us just got tired of it, you know? Like, all of us had fine careers and... Yeah. find things going, but all of us were still just like, fuck, man, like, this really isn't what I want to do, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so, it was easier than people think it was, honestly. Like, I think all of us are lucky to be surrounded with the guys that we surround ourselves with, and yeah. we all get along really well, so it's, it worked out well. Honestly, yeah, I think it was harder, like, half doing it, you know what I mean? And, like, being like, well, I'm in a band, and, like, well, totally. okay, I'm not, I'm not focusing on my career now. It's like, well, let's, let's go all in if we're going to do this with our lives right now. I mean, we're in our mid-20s. It's time to, and time to going do going to it. work at 6 a.m. Yeah. It's no fun. No fun. It drains you. That's a lot, just juggling everything, you know? Because you hear about independent musicians, which is hard enough to be independent, you know? Because you're doing everything yourself, just, like, having to juggle three jobs or something, you know, to make do. So it's good. It's kind of now or never. What has been like your biggest challenge um, so far just doing music full time? I mean, you said it's gotten easier, which is good, but. Yeah. Um, I think the hardest part was that first jump. I mean, quitting yeah, your job yeah, and yeah. like booking that first tour. Our first big one was nine weeks. So it, it took us forever to book it and it was kind of intimidating to do the whole thing. Yeah. Um, but now we've done that. So we have connections in a lot of places and we kind of built our name up to a point where it's gotten unbelievably easier. That's really cool. Yeah, nine weeks is a long time. It takes a while to book that. It was a long Twice one. as long, yeah. What's your favorite place on tour so far? Um, honestly, we fucking love Chicago. Yeah. I'm not just trying to yeah. be biased. Chicago <laughs> has been, like, really fun every time we've been here. It is hard not nice. to be biased because we'll have great shows in cities that aren't that cool. And we'll yeah. have bad shows in really cool cities. So sometimes we'll have a great show and come out of it like, I love it here. Buffalo, New York is the greatest place <laughs> in the world. Whereas yeah, we can play like awesome. really crappy shows in New York and come out of it like, I don't get it. I don't get why everyone likes it here. Yeah, for sure. But, yeah. I mean, Chicago's great. We love Nashville, too. And yeah. Austin was fun. There's nice. cool people everywhere. As long as yeah. you're with a good group of people and playing music, it's always fun. So it's, it's hard to pick favorites. That's what matters, for sure. Because you said you did some show in a ghost town like Utica or something. Yeah. yeah. You're like, yeah, yeah. We had a great time. Yeah, it was a lot of yeah. The venue treated us very nicely. Good. And that's what matters, you know? So, yeah, you just got to, like, go and go in with an open mind, you know, and definitely make the experience what you can. Yeah, it's been yeah. a lot of fun. Cool. Well, good luck on this tour, you guys. We'd love to hear another track whenever you're ready. Cool. You can do that.
you guys could embody any musical artist of your choice and play an, play a concert entirely through their eyes, what musical artist would that be? Like, who would you want to experience? John Bonham. That was quick. Nice. Sure. Black Sabbath yeah. in the that 70s. Would be insane. Brian May. Geezer Butler. Sid Vicious. <laughs> what? It's like what? they prepared these. <laughs> of anyone? You couldn't be a bass player? You could be Hendrix. He couldn't even play bass. <laughs> he looked cool. He looked cool, okay. I was gonna ask why, like. Yeah, he just looks cool. I think I he mean, just likes cool. the name. Honestly, probably all it was. <laughs> Sid Vicious is a cool name. I don't know, but it's hard to pick between the Beatles or Sabbath for yeah. me. Those are mm. the two greatest bands that have ever existed in the history of time. Mm, that's a, Yeah, that is a really tough one. I would love to know what it's like to be one of the Beatles, you know? That would be me a too. crazy how concert. Do you, how do you even feel when you wake up in the morning? Right. I would love to do uh, right. Keith Richards, but I don't think I could handle the alcohol content. <laughs> I think I would just pass out and miss the whole show. <laughs> but you would be Keith Richards. I was say, it's true. So if I am Keith, Keith Richards, Richards, probably Keith would... Richards. That would be crazy. <laughs> exactly. I'm not that cool, so to be cool for a second would just be yes. crazy. I would want to be Keith Richards so I could live forever. Because I'm pretty sure go. he's going to outlive yeah. all of us. So yeah, that's, you, you know. Yeah, Winter, him and Cher are just going to get together. Just call it the oldest couple on earth. It'd be Keith oh Richards, Cher, and like the... eight cockroaches just hanging out at the end of the world. <laughs> the music cockroaches of the world. Oh, my God. They that's never die. That's good. Wait, Sid Vicious. We had Keith Richards. I miss yours. Geezer Butler. Geezer Butler. Tell us about Keez Geezer Butler. Is someone I'm not familiar with. Um, he's, he's a Sabbath bass player. Oh, yeah. he's the bass player. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, good one. Yeah, and with you, you'd like you know to play a new instrument. So yeah. there you go. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that would be so cool, you guys. I feel like don't laugh, but I feel like I'd like to be Beyonce for a day. Is that weird? I'd like to be Beyonce. Yeah, I just want to live her life. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You embody them on stage and off, and just like you said, what is it like to wake up in the morning to the world loving you? You know. I just want to be <laughs> mad at Jay Z. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There you go. That's good, too. It's a classic. Doesn't everyone want to be mad at Jay-Z? Oh, well, solid choices, you guys. You unfortunately only have one song left. Uh, we'd love to hear it whenever you're ready. Awesome. Awesome.
for being in the studio with us today. Oh, you were thank awesome. You so thank you guys thank for you. having us. Of course. So go, much fun. Dude, go see Quiet Oaks at uh, Quenchers tomorrow. They're playing. Have a shot. Buy them a shot of Malort. They like it. They oh, like it. Favorite. Favorite. <laughs> Chicago <laughs> handshake. Please. Oh. <laughs> you got to do it. You just It's like a welcome you know, from us. <laughs> Thanks so much to the viewers for tuning in today. And thank you to our crew for working their magic as always. Until next time. Mm.